Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm going to be making pizza for lunch today. This is a homemade, really simple pizza with um, store cupboard ingredients. Again, things that you can find around about in your kitchen. You can literally throw in a lot of things that you have at home. Even if you don't have, you can make do with something else. I am going to be teaching someone to bake his own pizza. So I've got a guest today. This is Lakshmi, my husband. I'm going to be teaching him how to do this pizza. So we've got our own set of things, most of it. Um, I've separated the flour. We've got our own baking trays. Um, I've made things a little bit easy so it's quicker. Okay. I've done the filling. <laughs> I've done the filling already. The stir fry is ready. So what's the filling? What's inside? What's in here? There is capsicum and then um, I've got mushroom and I've got the vegetarian mint and some jalapenos in there with some vinegar from the jalapeno bottle itself. That's all. Stir fry with um, salt, pepper and oregano. That's about it. And then we've got cheese, we've got basil and we've got uh, that's cheddar and this is mozzarella and a bit of salt for the flour. So we're going to start off with the base first okay. of all. Okay? okay? So that's your portion and this is mine. I've measured the flour and the water. So you have 300 grams of self-rising flour in here and that's 150 grams of water. I have okay? washed my hands prior to this by the way. Yeah, make sure you wash your hands with clean hands. Add some salt to this. Take your water. Add it bit by bit first of all. Don't add the full lump. Just add a bit and then mix everything and make a dough. Oh, by the way, Chibi now used to be a best cook, now she's become the expert cook. Just the award of um, knowledge there. So why are we making pizza? Because it's healthier to make your own pizza at home. Right. As opposed to buying outside. And you know, with vegetarian pizzas that you buy outside, I find that they always have only cheese or maybe cheese and... I love cheese. Yeah, but you need some other vegetables. You need some other nutrients in it, not just cheese. Mm. I find that it's just not enough vegetables at all. Probably just capsicum and cheese, that's it. Maybe yeah, mushroom and cheese. That's not enough. Yeah. So there's going to be a thick crust. Yep. Yeah. It is going to be a thick crust. You love it. As thick as you want it to be, basically. I love carb, by the way. Okay, so that's it already. We're going to put it in our tray. Alright, so take your tray and dump it in. Okay, all you need to do is push it out and fill your pan. Now I think I'm fine with this out of shape pizza, it's fine. Okay. What's next? Okay, next is this, the sauce. The sauce. The sauce, yes. My homemade sauce. Uh, usually it should be passata or something, but just add the sauce and spread it out. Oh, by the way, this is the first time I'm ever making a pizza. So, mm -hmm. I'm excited. Excited to eat your own handmade pizza? Yes. Once you've done your sauce, layer it with mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. Are we having equal quantity? Kind or of. I should have more. Once you finish that, uh, just layer it with this veggie okay. and spread it as much as you can not outside towards the edges but then mm -hmm. all around though Where did you get this recipe? This is Jamie Oliver's recipe really? I modified it, yeah it's his What did you modify? Easiest one uh, the veggie, I modified the veggie and the sauce. He didn't add any sauce and he used sausage. You know the pork sausage? Oh, he yeah. used that. I obviously didn't want to do that. Sprinkle some basil leaves. And finally... Okay, what is this basil? Yeah. It's quite finally, a very strong smell. Top it up with cheese. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to pour the whole Don't flood it with cheese. <laughs> I know that's what you're waiting for. You know I love cheese. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be good. Okay. Okay. Let's put it in the oven. So we're going to put it in the oven 
um, at 180 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. So and the bottom we'll is mine, this. the top is yours? Yeah. Is it what is it, 180 degrees? Yes. And set it to 12 minutes. Okay. We've got our pizza ready now. Look at mine. <laughs> it's cheese. flooded with cheese as usual and this is mine. I think that's too much for you. I don't think you're going to No, it that. isn't. I will save it for dinner. I'll okay. save it for tomorrow. You can share? Yeah, it looks really, really good and it's done. We've actually tried to, we've cut a little bit here and tried it. It's really soft on the inside and it's crusty on the outside. And that's and a crust. Yeah, it is a very thick crust and it's come off properly. It's not stuck to anything because your pan is non-stick, so that's fine. Cut it up and serve it with your salad. It's quite crusty on the outside and a bit soft on the inside. It's all roasted and the cheese is melted. Really, really nice. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I, as you can see, I've lost my guest and half his pizza. He's already gone away with the pizza. He didn't want to wait until the end. But I really hope you enjoy it. It is so good, so easy, very simple, very quick. You can do it anytime at home. See you again. Bye.